Sniper rifles are the most precise and lethal firearms on the planet. They're used in exclusive operations, and it's not uncommon to see them protecting kings, heads of state, and presidents like Donald Trump himself. But how are they actually made? What makes them so different from any other firearm? Well, today we're traveling to the United States, home to one of the largest sniper rifle factories on the planet, where more than 20 units are assembled every hour ready to be deployed in secret operations, high-risk missions, and real combat zones. So get ready, because you're about to discover how the most feared weapon by any enemy is mass-produced. Let's begin. Step 1. Design and Development It all starts long before a single part is manufactured. Every sniper rifle begins as an idea that must be perfect from the very first millimeter. It's not just any design. It's about creating the most precise weapon on the planet, capable of eliminating a target from over 3,000 meters with a single, lethal shot. To achieve this, a team of over 100 engineers, designers, and ballistics experts work for months on the design of each component. First, technical sketches are drawn but everything quickly moves to 3D modeling software, where the rifle is designed piece by piece. In this virtual environment, extreme combat conditions are simulated. The exact recoil of each shot, the barrel's vibration, the metal's heating after several shots, and even the bullet's trajectory in rain, wind, or extreme altitudes are calculated. Every detail is tested without manufacturing a single part, and only when the design passes all virtual tests is it approved for manufacturing. This is where material selection begins. For the main chassis, aerospace aluminum is used, the same material employed in aircraft structures, lightweight, strong, and resistant to vibrations. For the barrel, bolt, and internal parts, heat-treated steel is used, capable of withstanding temperatures of over 1,000 degrees and internal explosions without deforming. It's literally the same type of steel used in the wings of military fighter jets. And for secondary components like the trigger, safeties, or covers, high-strength reinforced polymer is used, ideal for reducing weight without losing durability. These materials arrive at the plant in solid blocks, where they are precisely sorted and stored, ready to become one of the most lethal and accurate weapons ever made. Step 2. Forging and Component Manufacturing With the materials ready and sorted, it's time to turn metal blocks into high-precision parts. The high-strength steel blocks are moved to the casting area and placed into industrial furnaces exceeding 1500 degrees Celsius. There, the metal completely melts and is poured into molds that shape the most critical parts of the rifle – the barrel, the bolt, and the internal mechanisms that will make firing possible. Once cooled, the barrel goes through ultra-precision automated lathes, where a fundamental process takes place – internal rifling. Spiral lines are carved inside the barrel so that, when fired, the bullet spins on its own at thousands of revolutions per second. This spin gives it total stability in the air and allows it to impact precisely even from over 3,000 meters away. Meanwhile, the aerospace aluminum is taken to CNC machining centers, where the main chassis and upper covers of the rifle are manufactured. Unlike other rifles, a sniper rifle is not made in two halves. Its body is built as a single solid structure capable of resisting the brutal recoil of projectiles that can even penetrate armored vehicles. The magazines are also manufactured, made of stainless steel, and capable of holding between 5 and 10 heavy caliber bullets, such as the feared .338 Lapua Magnum. A single one of these bullets can penetrate solid concrete like butter. When all the parts are ready, they undergo a millimeter-precise inspection process, where specialized operators meticulously examine every detail. An error of a tenth of a millimeter can cause a shot to miss, or the weapon to not even fire. Only when everything has been approved are the parts moved to the assembly area, where they will be joined to form this precision machine. Step 3. Internal Component Assembly With each component ready and verified, one of the most delicate and critical steps of the entire process begins. This work is almost entirely manual performed by specialized technicians who use ultra-precision tools to place each part in its exact position. There is no room for error here. First, the barrel is coupled to the main chassis, ensuring it's perfectly aligned with the rifle's optical axis. Then, the precision bolt is installed, a piece that holds the bullet just before firing and must withstand a brutal internal explosion without moving a single millimeter. Next, the shock absorbers, recoil stops, and tension springs are placed components designed to absorb the colossal force generated when firing. And we're not talking about an ordinary handgun. 
the recoil of a sniper rifle can be up to three times more powerful. In parallel, the entire firing system is assembled – trigger, hammer, and safeties. Each piece must fit perfectly to prevent failures, jams, or even accidental discharges in the middle of a real operation. A single error can cost the mission or the shooter's life. Once completed, technicians perform functional tests without ammunition, simulating shots to verify that the entire internal system responds with surgical precision. Only if it passes all tests can the rifle advance to its next phase. Step 4. Exterior Assembly and Finishes With the entire internal system functioning perfectly, it's time to dress the sniper rifle and give it its final form. Before mounting any external components, the rifle undergoes a special treatment. It's not painted like a common weapon. It's immersed in a chemical solution using a process called anodizing, which coats the entire metal body with an ultra-resistant protective layer. This not only gives it that characteristic matte black color, but also makes it immune to rust, wear, and the most extreme conditions. Once this finish is complete, exterior assembly begins. First, the adjustable stock, front grip, and handguard are attached to the main chassis. These aren't just aesthetic details. Each piece is designed to offer stability, total control, and comfort, especially when the shooter must spend hours motionless waiting for their perfect shot. Then the upper rail is installed, where the telescopic sight will be mounted, and which allows for adding accessories like thermal scopes, wind indicators, or bubble levels. And here enters one of the best-kept secrets of these rifles. Their level of customization is extreme. Depending on the mission, silencers, extended barrels, night vision scopes, and even digital systems that automatically adjust the shot based on distance and wind can be added. It's literally like assembling a sniper rifle in Call of Duty, but with real combat-ready technology. Some models include laser engravings, unique serial numbers, manufacturer logos, and even limited editions with camouflage, tactical gray, or desert tones, depending on the environment where they will be deployed. When everything is ready, the rifle is complete, but before being deemed fit for the world, its most demanding test awaits. Step 5. Live Fire Testing and Calibration The time has come to prove that this rifle is not just impressive on paper, but also on the battlefield. Each unit is moved to a specialized firing range, where it is put to the test with live ammunition. There are no simulations or room for error here. High-caliber ammunition is fired, and the weapon must maintain surgical precision from different distances. First, the general function is verified, that it fires smoothly, without jams, and that the feeding system works perfectly. Then, the most delicate part begins, the calibration of the telescopic sight. Specialized technicians adjust the optics with millimeter precision so that the point of impact exactly matches the center of the target, whether at 100, 500, or even 1,000 meters. For long-range rifles, test shots are performed at over 2,000 meters to check that the bullet maintains a stable trajectory at extreme distances. Each shot is recorded by high-tech sensors that analyze speed, dispersion, and any minimal deviation. If something doesn't fit, the rifle returns to the workbench without exception. But shooting well is not enough. Now the brutal part begins. The rifle undergoes resistance tests, dust, mud, rain, impacts, drops, and consecutive shots without pause. All of this is to ensure that it doesn't rust, doesn't jam, and remains just as lethal after every punishment. Only when it passes all these tests and its scope is perfectly calibrated is it considered ready for the next stage. Step 6. Packaging and Shipping the sniper rifle is ready to be packaged, but first, a deep cleaning of each unit is performed, eliminating any gunpowder residue, oil, fingerprints, or particles that remained during the live fire tests. The weapon must be impeccable, ready to be delivered as a precision tool fresh from the factory. Then, each rifle is carefully placed inside a high-density technical foam structure, custom designed to perfectly fit the weapon's shape and prevent any movement during transport. Each detachable accessory, such as the telescopic sight, bipod, cleaning kits, or calibration tools, is packed in separate compartments within the same case. Everything is stored inside a rigid military-grade case made of ultra-resistant polymer, capable of withstanding impacts, humidity, dust, and even extreme temperatures. For tactical or military use models, Pelican-type cases with anti-theft locks, reinforced hinges, and airtight seals are used. Literally, they are designed to survive a war. Each unit has its serial number, model, caliber, and manufacturing lot engraved, both on the weapon and on the exterior of the packaging. And before leaving the packaging area, each rifle undergoes a final scan, where everything is checked for correctness. 
contents, accessories, and codes. Only then is the rifle integrated into the outgoing batch and sent to the distribution area, ready to be dispatched to special forces, authorized dealers, or armies worldwide. Step 7. Distribution and Current Use With the rifle fully assembled, calibrated, tested, and packaged, only one final step remains – getting it out of the factory and into circulation. From logistics centers, the batches begin their journey to their final destinations. Some travel escorted in armored trucks, others cross continents in sealed containers by air or sea, heading to operational zones in Asia, Europe, or Latin America. And we're not talking about just a few rifles. A single plant can produce over a thousand units per week, demonstrating the colossal reach of the precision arms industry. Besides being one of the most lethal weapons on the planet, it's also one of the most expensive. The price of a single rifle can exceed $15,000, and not just anyone can own one. These models are reserved for elite forces, special operations, and missions where every shot counts. Many are used to protect heads of state, presidents, and key embassies where snipers remain silent, hidden, and ready to neutralize a threat before it's even visible. Finally, tell us, did you imagine this entire process? Have you ever seen one of these rifles in action? Let us know your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to not miss the next factory tour.